Uh, okay then, hello everyone. Anyone who's watching this on YouTube, welcome back to part one. Something or other, I forget the number, I should really research that because I'm a noob. Welcome to Lord of the Rings Online, my last Lawyer segment. I am actually streaming this live on Twitch.tv, so the link will be in the description for you. So, I'm going to be going with a different tack playing through this now. I'm going to try and push through to 85 as soon as possible. Sadly, it might, it might mean we won't see content as much as we've been used to in the past, but I kind of want to just get through this and see the end game and get into PvP. So, hope you guys will enjoy, and hopefully these audio levels are good, because I am going to have to check that later. So, not many changes. We've got the Summer Festival up now, but I'm not doing that right now. I've had some really bad luck with the... What's it called? Megavan and Hatardion. Chris Atari nerd. Well met. There you go. You're happy now. <laughs> so, I've been getting loads of really crappy items. I mean, yes, the run speed boost is nice, and extra morale is beautiful. The extra attack damage is nice, and yeah, but... It would be nice to get some decent things. I have got a Temerfei rank 8 from one of them, I think it was. Which is always cool. Which I may actually purchase. Let's have a look. Tome of Fate. Because I want to... It would be nice to get the extra. That'll be 80 Fate. 80 Fate. Well, if you're not happy, I am sorry. But you get no perfect pie. As you are a noob. Stop doing that. I've got to I hate bugs. I hate the summer. Because the bugs seem to love it themselves. So. Oh, upgrade one. Oh, come on. Put the bundle down. Turn the bundle down. Pecan pie. You have pecan pie then. There you go. Happy? Better be. Right, 12 grades. 1250. 195 points. I'm not going to buy just yet. Anyway, I would be delighted if you were to join us. We are doing chapter three of book seven, Sons of Leaving Stone. I would be delighted if you would join us. The beauty of love law is best when shared, but we must all remain alert. Yada yada yada. Let's go and kill stuff now. Am I in war speech? No. Am I in time of heroism? No. I've changed one of my traits, so my raise raise my spirit is now a fast induction. Oh, look, how quick it, look how quick it heals. Let's see. I can have two quick heals off his quick succession and be good. Are you ready to go? It just means I lose some heal in other skills, but that's okay. Though the memory be now dim, of old, elves and dwarves were close in friendship. Legolas of Mirkwed and Gimli the dwarf, through shared hardship, have rekindled the old bonds. Even now they look for orcs to slay beneath the eaves of Lothlorien. It's a secret, okay. Megovanen. Let's go and kill things, why not? Come on, I've already moved, I'm halfway across the... Right, I'll go and find them. Where are they? No? Oh, <laughs> I'm going the wrong way, lovely. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Reminisce about the Towers of the Woods. Yeah, this ice might be sharp, but... What? Have you got a wedgie or something? Do you need to clean it out? Come on, tell us one. Ah, there's things over there, is there? Ah. Yeah, that was really clever, Legolas. Shooting at thin air. And lovely, I got a plane flying over guys, hope you enjoy. It's Latro Airways. It's Middle Earth and Airways. Oh god. So, save some of the rest of us. Yes, don't be greedy. Here they come. Oh. I have a tendency to push strife left rather than actually doing what I need to do. That was easy enough. How much rest XP have I got? 110k. Gonna use one of those. 20% extra experience. 
I've also reset by 25%. These guys are really enjoying their killing spree. Dominating. Oi. Did you just slap me? No? Okay. That was a bad idea. Oh, that slowed down all of a sudden. I need better heals. My heals, oh god. A better heal up here. I am so out of practice. That was not clever. God, there's so much chatter, I can't keep up. It just looks like they're having a bit of a beef. Oh, someone else? Does it bring cake? It better bring cake. It's only boring. Yeah, elves and dwarves don't get on. Won't that make it a joint eagle? Yep, eagles are your friends. Don't underestimate them. Oh, you know what else I could do? Oh, it's bows this way, but it's only one letter. Things are not going well. Mazak still rules much of the deeps and many of the levels from the stronghold of Zabagafal, and many of the good dwarves have fallen and fall off, have fallen to his forces. Uh, still, the dwarves of the Iron Garrison struggle to reclaim the hidden caverns, but for every beauty that is on earth, two evils spring forth. I have, to co I have come to enlist the help of the ruler of these worlds, Elfwoods. Caliborn wishes to reap the benefits, he must reciprocate in kind. Yes, I will take I will take responsibility for this dwarf's newbury. For the sake of the Iron Garrison, I have put up with the dignity of being blindfolded during the passage here, Mavaro, but my people could teach the elders of this place something of courtesy were they to visit Kazadum and Roy, if you say so. I doubt it'll help. Not worth it. I hate a floating text. Hmm. They don't know what they're doing. Well, she is wise. Okay, let's go. Come on, guys. Speed up. Slow down. Hurry up. Come on. This way to your death. Celeborn. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't do that. That's, that's insultive. That's not very nice, is it? Oh, God. I'll let you read the text. Would you say the same thing? Oh god, I hear a woman's voice. She's telling me to cook. Much resentment must be overcome if elves and dwarves are to have peace. But it must happen if any are to survive the coming tide. Yeah, tell them. God, he takes so long, doesn't he? Both he's so slow. Well, I came and I pillaged and ran out. That's not really a help, is it? 
several battles, but uh, they always return. And in, well, of course they did because I called them names. I insulted them, mother orcs. Miners work to unearth new treasures, and now my son Bori has been captured by Mazarg, ensnared by the yes. Why is my mouse getting messed up on this mouse map? I need a new mouse map. Times are too dark for the friendship of our people to remain lapsed. Got that mouse map. <laughs> Beer's the best thing in the world. The Lord of the Galadrium has much wisdom, and it is his wish that the dwarves had not faced the darkness of Khazad-dum unaided. And it's done. They are going to get some help. Do I get sent back into Moria automatically? No. I would have the mines restored, but my road lies with Frodo. Yeah, I know. You have to go and keep count of how many you're going to kill. That's right. I wish I could help the Iron Garrison with the efforts, but the mines have brought me great sadness, but I would have them restored, and the Iron Garrison will need able-bodied dwarves. But I cannot my road lies with Frodo, and I will see this errand through before I return to the mines. Neither the others, need of the Iron Garrison is grey, but glowing sun does not turn aside. Give me his brow throws, furrows, and then his eyes light with wonderment. Okay, and well, I have made my decision. Shot. Have you? I will not abandon the quest. Okay, I hope we will give Bosi, give to Bosi and the rest of the Iron Ghost and the aid. Go to the chamber at the crossroads and talk to Bosi because he needs help. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. It's nice knowing I can, be, I can stream this and not record it on my hard drive. And this bug is a bloody nuisance. These are my first dealings with Celeborn of Lorien. I do not know what to make of him. So he's disappointed that Gimli wouldn't come. Uh, his father, Glorin, is a close friend. And he just talks about his first dealing with Celeborn and confesses he's not sure what to make of him. Yeah, sent some elves to help. Uh, they seem to get to blame. They established a camp in Bellhammer, a newly executed passage off to his way. Bazun Gar, it is located in the very southeastern corner. An aid. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go and help all of our. I'm just going to keep cheating because I can. It probably will put me outside, yes. So, you want to come here. Hee haw, hee haw. Here we go. And into the hole we go. It's a nuisance to get here running around because there's loads of goblins and stuff you get caught in. This cavern was recently unearthed, and the gardens here still thrive. I'm glad you're here. These elves have been sent by Celeborn for the purpose of the purpose of helping us drive out the evil. They seem more interested in casting blame. Yeah, well, they are gonna be a bit you know they're not exactly gonna be happy. That they're helping their former enemies. Well, not enemies, but you know. The gardens still thrive, at least they do. The big rats and corrupts the plant life, but we could use some real help in clearing the cave of danger. Some evil lives at the bottom of Busungar. So evil lives at the bottom. Here. And we got a deal with it. What has drawn the Globsnogger to this cavern? Yep, too many, too many different mounts to get for that ad. It's, it's a bit irritating, I agree. But what can you say? I want to get the expensive mounts, so that's my problem. Like, I want to get the Steed of Victory. Oh, Valor. Valor! Hello, Valor! If all will not listen to reason and collapse the only entrance to this passage, seeing the corruption within, seeing the corruption within, we must find its source and destroy it. We have seen Globsnagger orcs near, deeper within Buzungar and fear that they will soon cry, climb up to this place. These questions are secondary to the most important. Um, have they been corrupted by the wheel to rot or is there some other cause of affliction? These are secondary to the most important matter. So we go to the kill warriors, destroy the source. I know where that is. 
and defeat the skirmishers. We're going to get out of Jim, who of course had a makeover. He's been, I think I've leveled him up a bit more. Have I got many coins? No, not yet. But he's still getting stronger. Jim is, oh yeah, I've got to rename him. Hold on. Jim. There we go. Jim is now happy. When they change the race, why do they change their name? You know what? Yeah, I'm in war speech, ain't I? Oh yeah, I'm not, I haven't got enough. So I'll ignore me, I'm forgetting that I haven't done something. Was that a mass? That was a massive devastate. There we go. Just turn my headsets down. Jim's such a good guy. Hold on, don't tell me there was a... I did not look to the left hand side and see that... Oh god. If Jim could take them down I'd be happy. But I'm going to get back up to the top somehow. Or not. Ah see Jim is getting stronger. He just sounded one of his own. <laughs> Did he swing hit me? My eyesight's getting worse. I'm missing quest markers now. I know Jim just died. Ah, oh, you stupid Jim. Jim's a superhero. God, I haven't played. I haven't played for a few weeks. That's what I get. This is what I get for not playing for a few weeks. The younger Mavaro is no longer the same. The, sorry, the younger Mavaro has grown up to be someone who's no longer the same. I need to get back up to the top to get the other quest. And I forgot how to get back up there. Oh, there we go. This is the way up, I think. Why didn't I see that he had the quest ring on him? I do not know. Oh my god, I'm so blind. The rot that pervades Buzungar is not of the natural world. And that gives us the duty of removing it. If Orvar will not listen to our advice and seal the passage, well, we must destroy the source of the wilting rot. I believe I have the means to do this. This barrel will catch the pure light, even at its most dim, and reflect it upon the corrupted walls of the passage. Draws the thing out like a beacon. You must destroy the source. Will you stop playing up, mouse? Well, I've got the mouse, man. I think it's just that messed up. It's like, you know, your hands are on it and it gets greasy or whatever over a couple of years, and I think it's interfering with my mouse cursor. It, like, it makes it. Yeah, see how it's jiggling around like that? It kind of does that if it's on the mouse mat. Kind of, yeah, it's horrible. I'm doing quite well with this book, considering we're half an hour in. Hold on, let's jump. Will Jim land in front of me? He should do. Okay, let's follow Jim, let's see where he takes me, because he knows where to go. Is he stunned? Jim, you're useless. Fine. See if I can. I'm going down solo. I'm going solo. I'm going solo, solo. Shift seven. Ah, god damn it. I'm concentrating too much, not relaxing myself. Well, oh, slash pet. What's those four buttons at the bottom in a timer? Four buttons at the bottom. These are for Palantir. It's a UR, it's a mod. I haven't got them to set up at the moment, but if we, you get red for it shows all the different effects you can get, all the different debuffs like poison, wound, disease, and fear. And it'll each one will go to appropriate colour. And 
you can set it up so you can click the colour and it will use the potion relevant to that. That's the way, that's what that's for. God, Jim can actually solo them, it's crazy, that is absolutely great. See, it's all about building up your DPS. Jim is gonna die anyway. Actually, no, let's let's fear him. The Jim can focus on the right one. At this point, I might even just go uh, out of war speech. But the skills that Jim's got, he's got a few. He's got a few skills. I mean, they're all at least level twenty. You know, he's got a high damage. He's got a low melee, medium bleed. He's also got, you know, he's got his uh, low area melee and another medium air melee. So really, the, the damage he's doing is just uber. Oh yes. This is why I can't wait to do PVMP on a minstrel. Now here is the source of the rot. There it is. The k rock Mossy stone. Watch it. There's going to be creepers. Let's see if Jim can solo it. I'm gonna see if Jim can solo it. Yeah, the time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the time in his combat, and then the little lines above it are for different skills. You can see how long each skill is running for, how long each skill's got left. Sorry, I forgot to answer that question. Okay, it's purely Jim there. Oh, I forgot I was attacking it. Come on, Jim. You can do it. Jim, don't die! Alright. Jim, you're useless. <laughs> oh dear. Thought that was sweet. Growloon the Kyrog is defeated, right, but others of his kind may appear. Oh, I'm gonna lose combat speed. Nah, I'm not gonna wear them. I'm just gonna get the most expensive one to sell those. We are fortunate that the growing the Kairog diminishes as already he was. Could be weakened further by the light of the barrel used to join forth. No longer will his presence scar the guards of Buzzard Gar or spread into the wider Moria. I worry that more and of the stronger of his kind may lurk in his deep places. Yes. He's delighted and I'm happy to have helped you. It will be some time before these gardens recover, but recover they will. Of course they will, Gladiel's voice. You have done well. That was no great task for you. I guess I'd appear, sir. These elves worry for nothing. Broin has not been the same since he was returned to us. The messenger sent by Broin was very clear that we should deal first with the corruption within Buzzard Guy. Yet once that was done, his master yet desired greatly that you visit him once again in the peaceful path located. Yeah, we know where he is. If you will allow me this, Mavau, I must tell you that Broin has not been the same since you returned him to us. It is no fault of his own, for he endured much in the watery den of the Watcher. Curse its name. But the son of Brogian may be a little touched in the head. <laughs> And now to lose his cousin boy to the force of Mazark, it cannot be helped. It cannot have helped, even. God damn it, I'm getting more retarded as reading goes. Right, Bruin. Let's get to Bruin. I need to buy some more tokens. Not bad for half an hour. We haven't even been half an hour into this yet. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, good. Everyone's complaining about stuff. Hold on. Brian's this way. I always forget where Brian is. I walk straight past him every time without fail. Buzangar is safe, but what of Bori? My cousin remains still a captive of Marzog. So he's found out we were successful, and then he seems to say speak else, but decides against it. After an uncomfortable pause, he begins again. I cannot understand why we waste so much effort on such insignificant tasks while my cousin Bori languishes in the dungeons of Mazog. Why still do my father's dwarves? I shouldn't read text while I'm reading this. Why still? He may still not live, but if he does, just as I endured in the water we didn't have the watcher, it could not be that every hour we waste brings him close to the death at the hands of the orcs. Takes a long breath, making an effort to calm himself. My brother, my father has asked me to search for records of my nodes in case I'm done, but I cannot bring myself to, use, to do such useless work. If you will do it in my place, I can continue to try to think of some way to help Bori. Look for these records in any of the old archives in the Great Delving, the Chambers of Wisdom, Knowledge, or Deep Thought. Now, where were the morning records? I can't remember which area that was. Hmm. Too much text. I hate reading text out loud. I'm no good at doing it. <laughs> Absolutely useless at reading text out loud. I can read it quick enough on my own, but when it comes to speaking it. Right, so there's a main point there. Right, there's the great delving. While well, I get a text message. Was it email? Uh, mounts, mounts, mounts. Hopefully I won't get aggroed. Shouldn't. Oh yes, I'm going to get aggroed. If I'm not careful. Right. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. I think what I'll do, in the meantime, I'm going to switch travel over to the 21st tour like I am, then go to the, the Great Delving, and then in the next episode we will continue on and try and find these mining records for Brian. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to leave some feedback on how you feel this was. Uh, I'm still a bit weird doing these recordings at the moment. I feel a bit different about doing them. I'm enjoying doing it live more. I think I'm just out of practice, as you probably can tell. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time. Adios, my friends.